50 years. 50 points. Giannis Antetokounmpo was legendary. He even hit his free throws. The Greek freak wasn't going to be denied. The 6'11 locomotive saved his best for last as he single-handedly carried the Bucks to their first NBA championship in 50 years Tuesday with 50 points, 14 rebounds, 5 blocks and a spectacular showing from the free throw line. There was tears in Antetokounmpo's eyes as he celebrated after the final buzzer of this 105-98 Game 6 victory over Phoenix. It was eight years in the making since the Bucks selected the skinny Greek kid with the 15th pick of the 2013 draft. A two-time MVP now has an NBA Finals MVP for his war chest after becoming the seventh player to reach the 50-point mark in a Finals game. On the podium, Antetokounmpo hugged co-star Chris Middleton and screamed, We F. G did it, the first championship ceremony for the Bucks since 1971. His free throw shooting and albatross all playoffs, Antetokounmpo made 17 of 19 from the foul line in the biggest game of his career. He posted three 40 point plus games in the finals. People told me I can't make free throws, Antetokounmpo said in the post game press conference. I made my free throws tonight and I'm a champion. Antetokounmpo held the NBA Championship trophy in his left arm and the Bill Russell MVP silverware in his right. He invoked his brother, Thanasis, at the start of his press conference, his Bucks teammate who was out because of COVID-19 protocols. I never thought ever I'd be 26 years old playing in the NBA Finals, not even just winning, and hold these two trophies, Antetokounmpo said. It was easy to go to a super team and win a championship but I didn't, he added. But we did it here. We F, G did it. Then he kissed the two trophies. We said all summer to win a championship you have to make free throws, Bucks coach Mike Budenholzer said. He did. He was just off the charts. His sidekick on this night was ex-Nick Bobby Portis, who added 16 points off the bench on a night Middleton, 17 points, and Jeru Holiday, 12 points, weren't at the top of their offensive games. For Phoenix, the loss meant Chris Paul, 36, didn't get his first ring nor the Suns their first title. Now Phoenix has decisions to make about Paul's future with an opt-out clause he reportedly may exercise. This one will hurt for a while, Paul said. Everyone in that locker room knew we had enough, but it wasn't enough. Paul had a strong evening, 26 points, but sidekick Devin Booker looked less than confident most of the night and put forth a 19-point, 5 turnover, 0 for 7 from 3 clunker. His wide-open 3-point miss with 56 seconds left and the Suns down 6 sealed the Bucks title. Game 6 was played before 17,000 at Fiserv Forum and an estimated 60,000-plus jubilant fans outside in the expanded Deer District watching on banks of giant video screens. The season started with no fans in Milwaukee.